G'day there, Daniel Kazinis here. This video we're talking about making a little jet unit for cheap. I've made a couple of jet units so far. One all out of metal, and then another one out of uh, 3D printed with uh, aluminium intake. Heaps of people ask for the STL files for it, but it's a little bit hard to make unless you can aluminium weld or make an intake some other way. So I decided to make one all 3D printed, cheap to make. The only thing you really need to buy is a piece of threaded rod and some bearings if you want to. So here are some of the Fusion 360 drawings of these parts. This is just the uh, the less aggressive impeller. There's a more aggressive impeller with thread inside and a space for the nut at the back. This is the flow corrector. So as the impeller spins, those fins catch the flow of water and squirt it out the back, trying to straighten it out so it's a bit more efficient. And there's a spot here for a bearing, either a bearing or the PLA plastic bearing. And then this is the best intake I've drawn. This is the one you want to use. It's got a left hand thread in it and a taper for the other piece to pull up on and it should be pretty nice and flowing. All the holes are M5 so you can tap it with the M6 tap or just run an M5 bolt through. There's room at the front for another bearing. M8 by 16 I think is a bearing you can buy or just use the plastic ones. So this is the biggest part to print. This is the intake. This is the best one I drew. Uh, there's my settings there. If you're interested, that's probably about the minimum you'd want to do is 20% infill, 1.2 wall thickness. But I'd print it a lot heavier if you're going to smash over rocks and stuff. But also I'm a bit new to 3D printing, so print it however you like. So 16 hours, 27 minutes, that's the longest print. You don't need a raft, you don't need a skirt, you just print it straight on the glass. This intake will print with no support material. This is the flow corrector. You have to flip it 180. This will also print with no uh, support material. This is how I printed this one. I did 40% infill on this piece because I think it needs to be a bit stronger. It's a bit of pressure going through it on this side. So no support material needed on this one as well. But I did want to put a brim on it just so it doesn't fall over in your printer. That one takes 14 hours. 48 minutes. So this is the impeller. You got to flip this one as well. Print that upside down. And these are my settings for here. Pretty much the same as the flow corrector. And I put a brim on that as well. You can print this also with no support material. Then you get your M8 by 1.25 rod. Cut it at about 250 long. One you nut on. Drop this other nut on the back of it. Put the locking nut on. Should it be about five mil sticking out to go through the bearing. There's also another one with just a thread in the impeller that you can put a locking nut on as well. You print that one if you want instead. The impeller will not fit in here yet because the tolerances are too tight depending on how good your printer is. So you need to sand this down a little bit or you could bore that out. Ideally in a lathe but this is how I did it. This part should come off the printer pretty much like this. Tidy the threads up a little bit, maybe run some sandpaper over it. And put your bearing in here. I'm just using the plastic one that I printed off. The impeller sits in there. Your other bearing can go into this intake. Anti-clockwise to screw in because it's a left-handed thread. Otherwise it'll unscrew itself. There we go. It's ready to go. There's a little groove on here, so what you can do is slip on different nozzles to change the outlet size and you'll be able to just drill and tap a little small bolt in there to hold it or glue it once you find the right size for your application. Okay, that was the 30mm nozzle adapter. This is a 20mm adapter. Okay, I'll try changing out the impeller. This is the medium pitch I guess to a more aggressive pitch. Let's try this one. That impeller screwed itself up the shaft and it's damaged. 
I'll try and fix it up and try again. So this is a real jet ski impeller. This one would be off like a jet ski with a heaps of power, 150 to 200 horsepower. So what you can do is round the edges off of your impeller with just with little cutters just to make it look like the professional ones. Don't know if that'll make it more efficient, probably would do. And you can also sand these sharper but the edges don't need to be sharp like this so that drill only gives you 1550 rpms max speed you probably need 10,000 rpm to get the most out of it so one of those electric motors would do awesome or a little two-stroke motor like i put in my other surfboard so this would be suitable for like a remote control boat or maybe a, a jet surfboard or something like that Perhaps for an adult you'd need two of these units for a jet surfboard but one would probably be alright for a kid. Also you need to be aware if you're going to run an electric, normal electric motor on here or a gas motor you need a thrust bearing. The drill is alright because it takes all of the thrust. The bearing you'll put in here you could print one of these that will go in behind the bearing and you could screw through here to hold the bearing inside the gap. There's enough room to put the bearing and this. Then you need to perhaps put a nut on here and you have to grind that two nuts and lock them together and then grind the outside off down to 10 mil so it will fit through this hole that way the thrust will be pushed onto this bearing and that will hold it in there uh, i'm going to give away 10 of the stl files for all, all of these parts here go onto dk the welder's facebook page write the timestamp where you see this symbol earlier in the video and i'll uh, email one out to you once the 10 are up I'll uh, put them for sale on CG Trader. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Check out the top pin comment, that'll be by me, and I'll add updates. I might keep adding on impellers and everything like that, which I'll give away to free whoever's paid for the rest of the drawings. I'll try and make it real cheap, just enough so I can cover some other plastic costs and stuff. So I'd really like to see what you guys end up making and any improvements I can make on these drawings. Uh, try different nozzles, different impellers, whatever you like. Thanks for watching. See you next.